Hi, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom. It is Tuesday, um, October 10th. Uh, we're here to do a 1010 portal reading, um, see what energy we can pick up on. Um, today, I'm outside on my deck. We got a day mixed of sun and clouds. Right now, we're in the clouds. So, possible isolated shower, so I hope that doesn't happen and we have to go running for the hills. Um, I have the curtains um, kind of drawn because I'm picking up on a really bad glare here, so I hope it doesn't affect you all. So let's get started. Um, for today's reading, I'll be using the Light Seer Tarot, the Gilded Tarot. For the opening energies, we'll use Wisdom of the Oracle. And um, to close out the reading, we'll use the Sacred Destiny. So I thought those might be, where we're doing a portal reading, those might be um, nice to use. So um, this uh, reading is going to be focused on the Divine Feminine and the um, and the 1010 portal, sorry. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to reverse reverse the way I use the cards. Um, today we're going to um, pull our, for the tower reading, with the Gilded Tower, and we'll clarify with the other one. Let's see how things come out. Okay, Spirit. So we're pulling on the Divine Feminine for the 1010 Portal, please, Spirit. goodness. Brushing myself. Uh, hold. I wanted to do the um, wisdom of the oracle pull first. <laughs> Get the overriding energies. Okay. Divine feminine 1010 portal. What kind of wisdom can we give the divine feminine? you all are having a nice day. Divine Feminine for the 1010 Portal. Okay. All right, so we'll go through these. Um, the first one for Divine Feminine we have come out is Mending. So um, Mending talks about um, mending relationships in our life. This could be a relationship with um, a partner, a romantic partner. This could be a relationship with a friend relationship with a sibling, relationship with a child, relationship with extended families, work relationships, any relationship that is in your life um, that has been in any level of stress or strain. Um, spirit is asking you to do this last bit of mending that you have to do to um, move into your, your best timeline, okay? The other energy here we have is Yang. Yang is masculine energy. So 
you may be too much in your masculine energy and need to drop down into your um, feminine energy. Okay, feminines are in receiving. They're not out seeking things, going after things, right? We, uh, let, we let that come to us, okay? Now that doesn't mean in action in any way. You have to take action in your life, obviously, right? But we're not chasing romantic love at all, okay? It finds us. Um, and this also could be um, spirit letting you know that there's a masculine um, energy in your life, okay? Next, we have the energy of cleaning up. Um, this could be cleaning up your space, right? Like, um, do you have clutter around? Um, you know, it's fall time here in New England. You know, we do fall cleaning. I imagine you do everywhere in the country, right? As seasons change, you know, you got to put away your summer stuff, bring out your fall stuff, all that kind of that stuff. Um, it's also the energy of making room for someone in your life. Um, in not just your physical space of your home, but in your heart, in your soul, and in your mind. And to do that, you might need to do, to let go of, still do a little bit more mending so that you can be pure of heart and all of that when um, love does come to you. Because the worst thing we can do is carry our past with us into new relationships. It'll always come back to, to bite us and haunt us. So um, we wanna clean up our energy and our, our physical surroundings, okay? To make room for this um, expansion and this new timeline to come in. Um, next, we have an observer. So if somebody's watching you and perhaps it's um, the masculine, <laughs> the masculine energy, right? Um, so know that, know that you're being watched, right? Um, they're probably looking at your social media. They could be checking out with, checking in with friends and family to see how you're doing and what you're about, what you're, you're looking at. Um, this could also be an energy of you spying on somebody. It also could be an energy of somebody sitting back and just watching what's happening kind of like um, a high priestess energy so again this can go both ways and you'll know the energy that fits right for you um, and last we have building blocks um, you're doing the work you're laying it down brick by brick and you're building something magnificent in your life All right, so this is some really good opening energies. Now we will get back into our tarot reading. Ah, goodness gracious. Okay, here we go. So Divine Feminine for the 1010 portal today. Okay, well we've got the Empress right in the middle of the deck. Okay, let's fill out our last row. A couple 
couple more, please, Spirit. So, just to show you, right in the middle of our spread is the Divine Feminine. Okay, so her energy is bleeding off over the whole um, reading. On the bottom, we have the Four of Wands, and that's about union, um, stability, your foundation, happiness. Okay, so... There we go. So our opening energies, we have Judgment and the Ten of Wands. Um, so when we, when we talk about mending here, right, um, the Divine Feminine um, Judgment is being called here and you need to put down this burden of the Ten of Wands. Um, tens are, are the end in Tarot. There's nothing left to learn, to know to make of this situation, okay? It's, um, it's done, okay? So you can put it to rest. Next, we have the Page of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Um, so this could be an energy that you're in right now you might be um, um, holding a space of, of love in you for your Divine Masculine with the Page of Cups, or this Page of Cups could be coming towards you. And you also have the energy of the King of Pentacles. Now you could be in the energy, you could be in your Masculine energy here, and we did see the uh, Masculine card come up. Um, well, this could be a masculine coming towards you um, in the near future, okay? So um, stay mindful of, of your energy and where it's at. Um, make sure you're going with the flow of the universe, staying present in the moment, okay? And the last card we have there is the Knight of Swords. So... Um, again, this is, could be an energy coming towards you, or this is your energy. Um, you might be um, embarking on um, something new in your life, uh, a new career, career, a new situation, um, anything like that, and you're moving pretty fast um, towards it. And whatever you're doing, you're, you're building a nice situation for yourself. Next row, next to the Empress, we have the King of Swords and the Tower. So, my guess that, that, that this is about the King of Swords. Either this is an energy of yours or like the King of Pentacles. This could be somebody else coming towards you or this can be elements of the the emperor out in the spread or its elements of your your masculine energy and when we clarify these cards we might find out a little more okay and then we have our our empress our divine feminine um, she makes up all the other queens in the, the deck um, she's vibrant she's loving she's giving she's caring she's smart intelligent just abundant in all ways. Um, when you've met an empress, you know it, okay? They really, um, they just call you in. You're, they're mesmerizing in a way. Um, okay, next. 
Next we have Strength and the Queen of Swords. So our Empress is in the, the Queen of Swords energy here. Um, she knows what she wants. Um, she's not going to put up with anything less than that. She will cut it out in a heartbeat. All right. And strength is um, staying strong in this situation. Whatever she's going through, um, she is strong. And she'll get through it. She'll survive. She's going to keep moving forward, you know, in this, this energy. Okay, going down into our next energy, we have um, Three of Pentacles. And this is an energy of wanting to come together and uh, work on a project with somebody. Um, teamwork, collaboration, it's really a great energy. And then we have um, Justice. And Justice is about getting, um, it's like karma, right? Like getting, um, getting what you deserve out of a situation. So Justice is coming in for for the Empress. And lastly, we have the Magician and Star. Um, the Empress is a great manifester, right? Um, so she's manifesting her dreams. Um, she births worlds into existence with her manifestation abilities. And she's, she's a star. And um, the star is an element of, you know, a wish come true. It's an element of success. It's uh, an element of, of um, it's an energy of a person that somebody could see you as a star, that you're a guiding light for somebody. It's also an energy of somebody that's still healing, that there's still healing energy around this person. And an empress has a very healing energy to her. And the last energy is death. So um, our empress here could be in a rebirth. Um, there's nothing that looks to death here other than maybe the tower, but somehow I'm thinking it could be something else. But we'll see as we clarify the cards, okay? Um, death, um, it, this could be the end of um, being single. It could be the end of a financial concern. This could be the end of unemployment. This could be the end of um, well, anything in somebody's life. Um, it, it's, it could be an end to the, the worry the grief, um, all the anxieties, all those pressures. Um, it could be whatever this Ten of Wands is for her, okay? It's dead, it's dead, it's dead, and she needs to release it. Okay, more big energy. Um, let's see, we have one... <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of 15 cards, our major arcana again. Big reading, and of course this is the 1010 portal reading, so. All right, can we look at judgment please? Okay, judgment, um, we have the king of pentacles and the hermit. So um, I think our king of pentacles here is in the hermit right now and he will be bringing, um, somebody is passing judgment, is being called on this king of pentacles and hermit. This is real um, earth sign energy here. The hermit is most associated with Virgo. Um, so 
Again, this could be um, the Empress herself in some masculine energy, and this is the second time we have the King of Pentacles coming out, okay? Or this could be the, the energy that the masculine is in. Okay, what is the Ten of Wands? What is our Divine Feminine having to set down, walk away from here? This Divine Feminine, or this, the collective here of the Divine Feminine, needs to put down the burden of communication of a love offer, okay? This, um, this expectation that the Divine Feminine Collective has is um, limiting you. It's taking up too much of your energy um, the burden of it all. When it's going to happen. If it's going to happen. All that kind of stuff. You need to let it go. If you're in a state of this worry. Um, and you're not at peace with yourself. Um, your masculine can pick up on that energy. And he won't feel it's safe to come forward to you. So. You have to let go of any expectations you have around your Divine Masculine, okay? Not to say that that isn't going to happen. It's letting go of the ex uh, expectation of it. Okay, tell me about the King of first before you go jumping out. Can you please tell me about the King of Pentacles, please? One more, please. Okay, the King of Pentacles right now, so this is probably the Divine Masculine, has the Ace of Pentacles right now, but he is in the state of Five of Cups. He's um, probably disappointed in himself and sad about some of his past issues. He's still focused on what he's lost and not what he's gained. And I talked about a little bit of that in yesterday's video um, about how this is something he is doing to himself and he's got to get himself out of that energy if he's ever going to come forward with the, um, the love offer, okay? Next, we'll look at the Knight of Swords. What can you tell me about the Knight of Swords, please, Spirit? Oops. The Knight of Swords is somebody who's manifesting um, teamwork, coming together. Okay, so um, this is probably our Empress. Next, we have the King of Swords. Can you tell me about the King of Swords, please? The King of Swords is an energy of Ten of Pentacles and um, the Chariot. So 
this person is ready to move towards um, their Ten of Pentacles. Um, so I think um, this is some Divine Feminine energy here. We also have the Queen of Swords on the table, so we'll look at her next. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Page of Pentacle. Oops. Okay, the Queen. Swords is working on um, manifesting. That's what the Seven of Pentacles is manifesting here. And this is an energy of a Page of Pentacles is somebody who's starting out on a new venture um, to secure some Pentacles. Um, you know, Pentacles are abundance in all different directions. So this person is manifesting um, in the early stages of manifesting abundance, right? She may be in a new um, career path or something. Okay, tell me about the tower, please. But either way, um, you know, this it could be some balanced energy of the Empress, the King and Queen of so uh, Swords, her feminine and masculine energies. Or that's... Um, how the divine feminine and masculine are showing up in the relationship. Okay, so the tower, please, spirit. Can you tell me about the tower? Okay. Um, the tower is keeping the divine feminine in a state of uh, like a tower in this um, up in their heads, stressing over it energy. Like, when is it gonna happen? Why hasn't it happened yet? Right, I wanna get communication. I wanna, I want that pentacle. <laughs> you know, I want him to come forward. Um, and it, it's just not time yet. Um, this is the burden that needs to be let go of. You can't be in a tower energy all the time. You can't um, let that interfere with your energy, right? You gotta drop that, you gotta let it go. That's what you need to clean up and mend from. You just need to drop it, okay? That's, that's the death that needs to come to that. Oh, our poor Divine Feminine here. All right. Now tell us about the Empress. What does she have going on? She has Fool Energy. What else about our Divine Feminine? Okay, she's in some good feminine energy right now, our Divine Feminine is. She is um, in the energy of Fool. She may have made a recent leap of faith um, in, into um, a creative and exciting um, way that's bringing her great joy and keeping her in her happy feminine energy right here. She's... Um, going after her jeans and she's going fast into it. She's made a leap of faith and she's in that newbie kind of energy, right? Um, you know, we saw a lot of uh, worlds and um, some of the other videos, cycles coming to an end. And I think our um, Empress is full on in her, her new energy now. And she can't look back anymore. She needs to let this past situation go. Okay, strength. Okay, 
my strength is the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Now the Eight of Wands is energy. It's fast moving energy. It can be communication. It could be spiritual downloads. It could be an email, a phone call. Um, it could be any form of communication or energy, okay? Um, the Queen of Swords is waiting on it, it appears. And I don't mean sitting and waiting. I mean, you know, it's another expectation, right? Expecting something to come in. Um, so that's uh, an energy that Divine Feminine has to, to watch is her expectations. Okay, moving into the last row, we have the Three of Pentacles. And we know that's an energy of coming together and working on something. Tell me about justice though, please, Spirit. Justice. Justice is the Ace of Wands and the ending of a cycle, right? So this um, Divine Feminine is pulling all this um, world energy and she's using an ace of wands to do it. Um, and that's her justice. Um, whatever justice is in this situation for her, maybe it's uh, just moving forward in her life and not letting the actions of the masculine impact her. Like, I'm not worrying about you, dude, I'm on my way. I'm taking care of my life and me, okay? And, and that's what it's about in relationships like this, right? You can't hang on to the past. You have to move forward into that new energy and new things happen when you do. Next we have the Magician. What's going on with the Magician? What's happening with the Magician? One more, please. Page of Pentacles. So the Magician is working on justice with the Page of Pentacles. So um, it looks like justice is coming in. Um, the, the, the Empress is manifesting Pentacles, abundance. Okay what she's working on. Next we have the star. The star is beautiful healing energy. Wish on a star. That is the king of wands and the star. So my guess, this is healing over a King of Wands, King of Wands energy. Okay. Um, this Divine Feminine could be expecting um, justice from a King of Wands, and she's wishing on a star for it. And our last energy is death. Tell us about death, please, spirit. Okay. Ooh. Death is, um, we've got the high priestess here. We've got the nine of swords. And we've got the Five of Pentacles. 
So the high priestess is all seeing, all knowing, right? Um, she's highly intuitive. She's uh, really tapped into energy. She can read energy. She knows so much and she keeps it to herself. She observes, it might be that observer energy, right? She's watching, waiting, taking in information to make good decisions for herself. The Nine of Wands is an energy of, you know, sleepless nights, worrying about something. Um, we've got the Ten of Wands, that heavy burden that the Divine Feminine is carrying, you know, this could be anything. Um, it could be um, loss of a job, loss of a relationship, um, loss of a home, illness. It could be um, money issues, relationship problems. It could be anything, right? It could be different for all of us. And the last energy is an energy of Five of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, rather. This is somebody who um, you might say it could be a little stingy or um, they're very careful with their abundance and their pentacles in their life. They're not foolish in any way. Um, they hold on to everything very tightly, maybe a little too tightly. And um, this might be what there is coming to an end is this... Um, that the high priestess is, is taking care of this, is letting go of this um, kind of energy. There's an end to this worry and whatever this five of pentacle concern is um, around abundance, I guess. Okay, so our divine feminine is really going through it, isn't she? Um, Another um, reading with some really, really big energies. Um, we know that this tower is something in the past. This is something that happened in the past for the collective that they really need to let go of if they expect um, their masculine to come in, okay? So let's take a look at... Um, sacred destiny and see if we can sum up this reading today um, spirit guides could you please sum up this divine feminine 1010 portal reading One more, please, Spirit. One more for our Divine Feminine. Okay, got a couple more. All right, some um, great energies here. Okay. So the first one out is Transformation. Divine Feminine, you have gone through um, quite a transformation um, even um, to arrive at this Empress level, right? Like you've done the work. Um, you're like the um, masculine that we saw in yesterday's reading. You're in the final stages of healing and you guys are really mirroring each other at this point. But what I see here is you're almost being asked to step in to more of a leadership role with this healing and show this masculine that you can walk away from this kind of stuff. Um, if you didn't watch yesterday's reading, um, 
watch the first like 20 minutes of it. I talk a, a lot about how you can let go of things in my own personal experience. But wow, what a transformation. Congratulations, okay? Next is um, through your experiences, you have gained some divine wisdom. Um, this wisdom will serve you well into your future and it will help everyone around you. You're smarter, you're wiser, you've learned from all the lessons in your life and you will not fall into the same pitfalls you've fallen into in the past. You will not hook up with a narcissist again, right? Or make poor decisions for yourself because you have more self-worth. You know who you are now and what you need in all situations in your life. Spirit is asking for you to stay patient, to not try and rush this process. If you and the Divine Masculine are really gonna come together, you have to be healed or it's not gonna work, okay? You'll still keep triggering each other. So you have to um, stay patient, stay focused on yourself, stay in your feminine energy, keep manifesting, keep vibrating high. Forgiveness. Um, forgiveness is huge in healing, right? Um, forgiveness, we have to forgive ourselves for any mistakes, mistakes or missteps we've taken in our life. We have to let that go. We have to forgive our divine masculine or anyone in our past. Forgiveness is something you do for you and it's so important that we set ourselves free, okay? Trust. You have to trust the universe to deliver your dreams, right? You have to trust that your divine masculine loves you and that he's there for you and that that's something you're never going to lose. You will always have that and when the time is right, it will come to you. If you stay open in your heart, okay? Keep that heart chakra open, keep the vibes high and trust. Trust in, you, trust in your spirit guides. Trust in yourself. Trust yourself, right? Trust yourself. If you don't trust yourself, no one else will. Okay? The next energy is thriving. Um, you are thriving right now, right? You've come into this you're transformed now, and whatever you're doing this fuel, uh, full energy in, you're thriving and you're building this new life. You're starting out the foundation, and soon enough, that masculine is gonna join you, okay? Keep doing what you're doing. And action, the last one is action. So, this is what I talked about, is about kind of stepping into a leadership role um, for your relationship, right? If your intention is to um, come together and work on something with your masculine, and I've seen this strong in the last three or four readings now, that that is um, um, mutual, I think, on both sides. But he may have a harder time seeing how. You have to take that lead and show him how we can come together and work together, okay? You have, to, you have to do the lead on that. Take action on that. And um, take action on any other actionable items in your life, right? Um, what else do you need to, to, to act on, okay? You'll know what's, what's uh, right for you. Wow, wow, wow. What an incredible reading for the Divine Feminine, okay? So, um, keep thriving, right? Use this portal to finish up any healing that you have to do, okay? The 1010 is also numerology. It's about abundance. Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, it's coming for you, 
okay? It's coming. You just have to stay patient, trust, forgive, thrive. All doable. All doable for a divine feminine. All right. That's your reading for today. It was my pleasure to be with you here again. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have a little bit better light. I hope this hasn't been too dark for you all to see. Um, have a blessed rest of the day. And I will see you next time. Oh, and please don't forget to like um, and subscribe. Um, I'd really love to have you all here. And the more, um, and when you subscribe, I can pull in on your energy more, okay? All right, great. Thank you all. Be blessed.